Hi everybody. Um, today I am going to do a review of three notebooks, um, bullet journals that I have used recently and um, give you my thoughts on them and show you how different things uh, work in them. So I hope you will stay with me and watch. I'm going to try to be really concise and um, we'll see how I do. I wanted to go ahead and use the journals up that I'm going to be reviewing because a lot of people do reviews on journals before they have even used them. And I feel like to really get to know a journal, you need to use it all the way up first. So the first journal I'm going to review was the journal I used from June 15th to um, July 18th. And this is the Exceed A5 bullet journal that you can get at Walmart and obviously the beautiful uh, lavender um, color. Um, the Exceed journals are actually a lot thicker than your typical Lush Term or other journals, uh, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Sometimes I think, you know, bullet journals like this should have uh, less pages, you know, because I use mine as actual journals, so I do a lot of journaling, just writing in them, and uh, by about the end of a month, I start to get kind of fidgety to start a new one, so that's just my opinion. Um, as you can see down here, it has the Exceed logo, a nice little uh, elastic strap, just like most of the other ones. Um, the cover feels very nice. It actually feels just like the, the Lewis term and all the other good stuff. So let's pop inside. Um, don't call my phone number, okay? <laughs> I won't answer anyway. So uh, the first thing you may notice, I'm not sure if the light will work, but the Exceed is a cream notebook. And if you don't like cream colored, you probably don't want to grab this notebook. I've actually, through this experience, have learned that I prefer stark white pages. Just me. That's my family. Are we so cute? So, um, one of the first things I will tell you that I really enjoy about the Exceed Notebook is um, the pages are actually thicker than Lush Term, and all of the other journals I have ever used, the Exceed pages are so much thicker and um, I really, really, really liked that. I didn't expect it when I first uh, pulled one of these off of the shelf. Um, here I had some issues where I accidentally pulled my pages out so I had to put them back in. So what I'm gonna show you throughout these pages are some of the different things, the types of things that I was able to do here in my Exceed journal. As you can see, I do a lot of actual straight up writing and journaling, but I was able to do some other things in here too that didn't actually um, hurt the pages. And um, I was really shocked. So let's find some real quick. Um, I will say this, the Exceed journal is actually super fountain pen friendly. Yeah, you wouldn't think that, you know, a $10 journal from Walmart would be fountain pen friendly, but guys, it actually is, um, which is really great. Uh, I'm trying to find, yeah, this is the kind of journaling that I do, just journal, 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 journal. And I did do some stamping in here too to see how the ink stamped and how it turned out on the back. Um, I was pleasantly, pleasantly, my girls made me some money, I was pleasantly surprised that ink doesn't bleed through on this page, on these pages at all. So here I started doing a little bit of watercoloring on my pages and I expected the pages would get all wrinkly. No wrinkulation. These are just some pretty little uh, shimmer watercolors. Um, but further on I get into more watercoloring, like the whole page. If you're taking any time and you're stopping and you're reading my pages, I hope that you would just, you know, respect my privacy. But darker yellow all the way to a lighter yellow, and you can't even tell on the back. There is absolutely no leak through or bleeding of water watercolor ink. And I used a watercolor, um, and I used several different kinds of watercolor paper. So here you can see I watercolored this time with different colors and I left this page a bit blank and um, 
kind of, I was going to write over it, but then I realized, well, it would be kind of defeat the purpose of me showing uh, that there is no, and it doesn't even crinkle the pages, which is really interesting. Um, and this was where I was like, oh, I'm going to try and do a bullet journal again. Yay. And I was like, no, I can't do that. So these are um, Tombow Dual Brush Tombow Dual Brush Pens, and they don't bleed through either. Um, a lot of the ink that you'll see, I mean, everything in here, all of this is all fountain pen ink. Every bit of it. Oh, and it looks like I had an ink sploosh there, some dark pink. And look, you can't even see it over here. This is Pilot Orochizuku, oh, I don't remember, pink. Um, but you can see my huge sploshes there, and they don't show up on the other side at all. Um, more watercoloring that I did, and you cannot see it at all on the other side, and the page has not even crinkled a bit. Now I'm sure you're like, oh yeah, see, and this is some more, because I just found that because it didn't crinkle, and because it didn't come through, I was having more fun watercoloring because I knew that my other pages would be okay. I also press flowers too, so um, sometimes I write crazy, but I always, you know, there's always something that I'm writing or, or some kind of art that I'm trying to do. This was a really cute stamp that I have, and um, even though this is crazy over here, uh, the stamp does not bleed through either. Now this one over here, you see a little bit of shadowing with this stamp that's back here. Um, this was a different kind of ink that I tried. Uh, this was like a cheapo brand of ink. Usually I use uh, the, oh, the Dewdrop ink. I can't remember, but this was a different ink. Um, so it did shadow a bit, but it didn't go completely all the way through. And this is some other ink, some kind of like sparkly inkies that I tried. Um, stupid waffle. Oh, I've forgotten about that. Um, and here is some more watercoloring, which did not go through at all. Um, let's see. And this was some uh, area where some of my watercoloring over here came onto this side because it wasn't dry and it didn't go over onto the other side at all. Um, so I'm going to kind of move on from these pages and I'm going to show you what I really wanted to show you here in the back. Um, with all of my notebooks, the first thing I do is I pull out a page and I do uh, just a sample of uh, different kind of inks that I may or may not use. Now I don't use anymore, I don't use Sharpie or any of the regular, I, I use my ink, my fountain pens and ink. Sometimes I use... Um, highlighters or my Tombow Dual Brush Pens, but that's usually about it. So the only one that went through here was the actual Sharpie itself. And by Sharpie, I mean this Sharpie. Not a Sharpie pen, an actually Sharpie permanent marker. So, and again, this is the Walmart brand notebook. This is also my ink swatches that I did on this paper. And, um, I covered up this one because I made my fountain pen log really, it just looked really bad up there. But as you can see, there is no, you can see a little bit of like the darker inks because when I swab, like I swab, swab, swab. And I think, oh no, you can't even see, um, Emerald, Emerald of Shavor didn't even come through. So nothing bled through these pages. You can see a little bit of shadowing. Oh, actually, that was from this shadowing. You can see a little bit of shadowing, but nothing bled through. And this is just, I mean, that's, to me, that's wonderful. That's, and that's my, like, start, pin, start, page. <laughs> but, so, um, in my opinion, the best uh, journal or notebook you can get for your money, honestly, has been the Walmart Exceed Bullet Journal. Um, and I will put a link down below to, um, to the actual journal itself, um, and some other links to different reviews of it as well. So I hope you don't mind. This was a very, very, very short review of this one, and I'm going to move on 
because I am comparing and contrasting. Now we are at 10 minutes. So actually, I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and stop and then make a separate video for the louche term. And then I also am going to be reviewing this um, Artist Lofts notebook from Michaels. So I've used up all three of them and I'm gonna show you how each of them did. So I hope you enjoyed this quick flip through and uh, my review and my take on the Exceed uh, A5 dot, uh, dot journal from Walmart. And um, in my next video, I'm gonna do a very quick uh, flip through and review of this solution. I hope you'll watch again.